To import a unit, you must be on the map page, either from clicking on and go to map from the previous page, or clicking map on your upper navigation bar. You can import units using the well-known text, otherwise known as the WKT format. First, click the Import Unit button located on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. You will be taken to this pop-up. Click the button Download Shapeup. A Windows Internet Explorer pop-up will display, asking if you'd like to open, save, or save as. For this, select Open and your browser will begin downloading the application. You can also choose the Save or Save As button and direct where you would like the download to be saved. After opening the download, you will get a window that opens with the contents of the download. Double-click the file ShapeUp with the file type Application. A window will pop up asking if you would like to extract all files to a specific location. Select Extract All and choose a location on your local drive. A new window will open showing all the extracted files and an executable application called ShapeUp. You can create a shortcut to your desktop by right-clicking and selecting Create Shortcut. Double-click the application to open the program. Once you have opened the program, ShapeUp has a Help menu located in the lower left of the screen, giving you step-by-step -step instruction on how to use the program. You can add a shape file by either dragging a file onto the map here, or by clicking Upload Shape File. Click Upload Shape File and choose the file from your drive. Select the file and click Open. Next, to copy the unit into eNotification, click on the unit and then click Copy. At this point, return to the eNotification window in Internet Explorer. Right-click inside the unit WKT box and select Paste. Then, click on Add Shape. Input the name of your unit and hit Save or Add Activity. Save will allow you to save your NOAP and the unit you have drawn on the current page without advancing in the notification process. Add Activity will save the information you have just entered and take you to the next part of the NOAP. Once you have added your unit, you can proceed through the rest of the NOAP creation process. If you would like to add more units to your NOAP, Simply repeat the process after you have added an activity and operator to your shape.